let's pick a volunteer. And if you've got any particular issue that maybe you've been trying to get helped with, uh, let's see if we can work with you. Let's work with Huguet uh, uh, or Huguet. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Can you hear me okay? H U G U E T T E. There you yes. Go. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Hi. What's I'm going on? How are you? <laughs> Thank you very, very much. I'm be praying every day to have this opportunity. Thank you very much. Actually, uh, oh, oh, I'm so on. Welcome. Hello. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're welcome. Can you? Can you hear? Can you okay. hear me? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you very well. Can you hear me too? Yes, absolutely. Okay, thank you very much. So actually, I'm really struggling because I'm working toward my certification. And since I'm really, really struggling, really struggling, because I just love the work that you are doing, but I'm really struggling to, 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 this, to communicate with my subconscious mind. Sometimes it's work, sometimes I have just no answer. I don't know which type of blog that I have. I did some couple of sessions with some practitioner, but still I'm having the same problem. I'm so grateful, grateful to have you today. Oh, okay. So what would you define your, your issue as? Are you having a hard time getting answers or something or what? Or, or knowing no, what it's to like ask? Or? Sometimes Yes, yeah, sometimes when I when I uh, uh, I ask questions, my body not give me no response. Then sometimes when I ask questions, then my body respond. I don't know if it's a block or what. I don't know. Thank you very much. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, it very well may be a block. So let's take a look. And let's, by, by the way, um, where, where are you in the world? Just out of curiosity. Uh, I'm in New Jersey, Elizabeth. Oh, okay. No problem. I thought maybe you were in someplace tropical. Where are you, where are you from originally? No. Uh, I'm at home now. You're at home. All right, no problem. I'm okay. All right, so let's take a look here, and give me just a moment. I'll ask for some help. Now, this is, this is a crucial thing. It's crucial that yes. you ask for help. And um, in, the, uh, in the very, very end of the Emotion Code book, we kind of give the outline <clears throat> that I use for asking for help. So you can take a look at that. But uh, whatever you okay. believe that higher power to be, that's fine. You know, you, you, uh, you want to ask that higher power for help. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to ask God for help. Thank you. And uh, you bet. So hold on just a minute here. Thank you. All right. You got How do you pronounce your first name, by the way? H U U get you get is a French name you get oh you get you get okay okay it's French all right so let's ask is there anything that is interfering with your ability to get clear answers so let's take a look all right let's see here okay. So what's interfering? Is it something on the right side of our map? Is it left? Is it some kind of an energy? It's an energy right up here, something going on. Is it on the left side of this map? No. So is it addictive heart energy or some kind of an allergy or an intolerance, something emotional? It's definitely something emotional. So is this a trapped emotion? Oh, it is. Okay. So there's a trapped emotion that's interfering with your ability to get answers. Is it in column A on our chart here? No. So it's in column B. Is it in one of the odd rows in column B? No, it's in an even row. Is it in row two or four or six? It's in row six. So, so is it pride? Is that what it is? No. Is it shame? No. Shock? Unworthy? Worthless? Ah, okay. You have an inherited trapped emotion. Now, let me tell you something about inherited trapped emotions, okay? The yes. interesting thing about inherited trapped emotions is that, um, for example, there was a woman at the, at the conference this last weekend that, um, that told me that she's 82 years old. She's cleared herself of uh, – she had all kinds of pain a year ago. 
And I mean, pain in her knees and in her back and her neck and her low back and hips and all kinds of stuff. She cleared all of it out. And so now she's totally pain free. So what she told me is that when a pain comes back, it's, it's from her ancestors. They want her to work on something and there's something that she needs to release something inherited. So when the pain comes back, she checks to see, and it's, it's always an inherited emotion. So think about this. Here's a situation where you're asking questions, you're not getting great answers. Uh, sometimes, sometimes you are, sometimes you're not. And the first thing that's showing up is, oh, well, it's an inherited trapped emotion. Let's see what it is. Is it inherited pride or inherited shame? This is inherited shame. The shame is the lowest of all the emotions, okay? the lowest of all. Okay. So this inherited trapped emotion of shame, uh, who is it from? Is it from your father or your mother? No, it was definitely from your mother. Did she get this from somebody earlier? No, nope, she didn't. So it just came from her. Do you have any kids who get? Who get? You get. You get. Yes, I have two. two. Two kids. All right. Did either one of your children receive this from you? No, so this is just your trapped emotion of shame. Is your mom still alive? Yes, she's really struggling. She's really struggling too. Okay, all right. Well, uh, this is an energy that is such a low vibration um, that um, it's the lowest of all the emotions. So let's go ahead and release this one. I'm going to pass a magnet from my forehead over the top of my head to the back of my neck here. And we're going to do that 10 times to release this inherited trapped emotion of shame from you. But also it's going to release from your mom. Thank you. All right, there we go. Let's take a look and see if we've released that. And we did. All right, so now let's come back and let's ask again, is there another underlying oh, – let's go back out to the main page of the body code here. So another underlying reason why you are having trouble getting clear answers. Is there anything else standing in the way of you getting clear answers? No. Um, is it safe for you to get good answers? Yes. Um, are you okay with getting good answers? Yes. Uh, okay. Is there anything else? I, I, I'm not getting anything else. So I think, I think that uh, looks like that's it. So. Let me know how you do. Hopefully this will help you. See, the thing about it is, if you're having trouble getting hey. answers, oh, sure, sometimes you, sometimes you need help. And um, this is something that, that okay. pops up periodically where people are just having a hard time and there's something blocking them. So um, uh, we release that emotion of shame. It released from you. It also released from your mom. And uh, Thank you. so let me know how you do, okay? Thank you very much. May God bless you and bless all your team, bless all your family. I'm so grateful. Oh, thanks, you Gad. I really, really appreciate that. God bless you too, and uh, and God bless all thank of you. you. Thank you for being on the call today. Thank you and, very uh, much. Thank you. Thank you. You're so so welcome. Take care and um, thank hope you. Y'all have a a great rest of the day and a great rest of the week. And uh, remember that uh, tomorrow okay. night. We're going to be having a, um, um, a webinar, a body code uh, training webinar. So check your email. You should have an email about it. And uh, hope to see you on there. All right. Thanks, everybody. Please, I have a question. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Hello? Yeah. yeah. Can, I, can I go ahead? Yeah. Can they allow me to buy the body code even though I'm not certified yet with the uh, emotional code because I'm still working my way to the, to be certified. Am I allowed to oh. buy the body code even though I'm certified? Oh, yeah. Yes, you can buy the body code anytime you want. You can buy it. You know, a lot of people, it's the first thing that they find out about and they just buy it right then. You don't have to be certified. However, you do need to be certified oh, okay. in the emotion code before you can become certified before you can enter into before you can enroll in the body code certification program. Um, but okay. you can buy the body code anytime you want. Sure. No problem. <laughs>